Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about caring for guinea pig hair, which needs varying degrees of care based on the length and texture. Caring for guinea pig hair may not become a part of your daily routine, but if you have a long-haired guinea pig, chances are it will. However, it's totally up to you as to which guinea pigs you have. Let's talk about distinguishing hair textures. Guinea pigs are usually classified into breeds based on their hair. This distinction refers to how it grows, the length, the texture, and more. If you're adopting a guinea pig, chances are you aren't paying for a pedigree. Therefore, you'll need to handle your guinea pig to get a feel for its fur. Before we go further, bear in mind that any sort of long-haired guinea pig will need more care, as will a guinea pig with denser fur. Whether that's help with grooming or haircuts is up to you and your family and what works for you. A smooth-haired guinea pig does not necessarily need as much help with hair management. This hair tends to not be as prone to tangling the same way it works with humans who have straight hair. There will, of course, still be times when caring for the guinea pig's hair is necessary. However, it won't be as often. The tricky hair textures are curly, kinky, and wiry, especially if they're dense. These guinea pigs require almost daily assistance in keeping their hair neat. If you do not help your guinea pig, the hair will mat with debris from their cage bottom. This debris, in turn, is bad for your guinea pig's health, not to mention the cage smell. Let's talk tools. Generally, guinea pig grooming is straightforward. You will need a comb, preferably plastic. For many guinea pigs, the flexibility of plastic prevents some of the pulling involved in grooming, which in turn prevents some discomfort. A metal implement may also pull more hair out, which can make your guinea pig uncomfortable too. Another important note is not to use human products on guinea pigs. Some of the ingredients have negative health consequences, since guinea pigs groom themselves with their mouths. Also, be leery of using any product that is not specifically formulated for guinea pigs and recommended to you by a veterinarian. Grooming long-haired pickles. To begin, catch the guinea pig. You'll want to let the guinea pig explore the surface you'll be working on for a few minutes, whether that's a towel or a tabletop. This comfort means it will be easy to pull the guinea pig the next time you want to do a brushing. Additionally, let your guinea pig smell the tools you're going to be using. They may even nibble them, but that's okay. Once the guinea pig is comfortable, pick up the comb. You're going to start at the end of your guinea pig's hair, not close to their bodies. This distinction prevents hair knots from compounding and making the process more difficult, just like it would in human hair, or if you've ever worked with horses, horse manes. You'll want to work in chunks as well, and you'll want to keep going around your guinea pig until they're tangle free. And don't worry if it doesn't happen the first time, you can always try again tomorrow. Let's talk haircuts. Sometimes, caring for the guinea pig hair in your home is difficult or time consuming, especially if you have children. It is okay to give your guinea pig haircuts in order to allow them to better take care of themselves. However, you'll need to be careful while you're giving the haircut because guinea pigs wiggle. <laughs> For this process, you'll need a small pair of sharp scissors, so something like nail clipping scissors works well. These scissors let you have more control than the longer varieties. To begin, place your guinea pig on whatever surface you're using for the cut and allow them to smell the tools and the surface and give them a few minutes. Also, pet them, make sure they're not freaked out, all the good things that help this become not quite as traumatic. The first step in a guinea pig haircut is clipping to about an inch from the body all around. You'll want to do this in chunks for more evenness. Once the guinea pig hair is the same length, it's easier to snip in closer if you're going to. How short you get the hair determines how often you need to repeat the process. Just bear in mind that guinea pig hair functions as their sunscreen and their climate control, so taking it all off is not a good idea. Last note, let's talk guinea pig baths. Guinea pigs can technically swim. However, they did not evolve to do so and most find it intensely uncomfortable to be in water. Fortunately, caring for guinea pig hair does not require washing, so it's best to skip the baths entirely. 
unless specifically instructed to do so by a veterinarian for some specific medical problem. But that's for your veterinarian to decide. You don't need them. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to subscribe below to get more awesome guinea pig content and have a fantastic day. Bye.